What is up you guys, man? We're back at it again. We got another one. It's your boy Taxi.png, King Taxi, Taxi Media, whatever you want to call me, man. We're here today with new USMF Unique. She's come out. She's one of our ambassadors, so you guys are going to see her a lot frequently. Today, we're going to do the top five poses, okay? Top five poses for your model, top five poses on how to pose your model, top five Instagram poses, top five, whatever you want to call it. It's the top five poses. Let's get into it. All right, you guys. So the first pose that we have, the first pose that we have today, um, is, is majority of it's majority of the time is used as like a little business pose because it looks more professional. But when they have a lot of hair, it's also cool to have this pose as well because it allows them to play with their hair a little bit. It allows them to give them like more like a sexier, like a cool, like a smooth look. Um, it's one up, like like so like this right here. There we are. Like a little business boom. Easy, nice and easy little pose. Easy to work with. All right, so we have the arm fold. We're gonna call this the 90 degree. I'm gonna call this the 90 degree. This is the first one is the 90 degree. Have her doing the 90 degree angle with her, with both of her arms. You can do it in the chin, put with your hair a little bit, kind of either or, honestly. See what those looking like. Mm. 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 All right, let's get you guys a little bit closer so you guys can kind of see what's going on here. So we're right here. And just see how beautiful these are coming out. These are looking beautiful. And I gave her a little stool. Um, it makes it easier for her to sit, you know, it gives her a little place to sit and stuff like that. I think I just messed up her mirror. Let me know. So today what we're using is too, if you guys are asking, I'm using a beauty dish right now, a beauty dish with an 8200. Um, that's really it. And then I have a little gray background, a nice um, Savage Pro background on there as well. And uh, yeah, man. <laughs> and then we got a little like reflector right here, but it's not really doing too much. I got a newer light over there as well as a newer 6600 light over there. Both of them are just giving us a little bit of, little bit of background light, not too much light. And um, yeah, that's, that's it for the first pose. All right, so you guys, we're on to the next one now. This one I like to call the reverse 180, where we're gonna have her, she's already doing it. She's already doing it. It's like right here. Uh, I mean, reverse 45, you got me saying it. <laughs> reverse 45, so it's like here, like a little bit of 45 degree angle with her hands. And she turns to the side a little bit, like try to turn a little bit more over, like that. Then you have the end of turn your torso a little bit to the Kim Pong. So like that, and I will only keep it catching upper body shots. It probably looks weird, but maybe lower body, but stop looking. So, <laughs> but yeah, so we're catching upper body right now. Let's see how this, these look right here. Mm, yep. I don't know what it is, but I like, I like this darker look with what you're wearing as far as your skin tone. Mm. I think about it too. I was like, I have too so many connections for me. This next pose for number three, we have her sitting on the stool. So like basically, I guess we're trying to show you to how to pose. So we have her doing a little bit forward, a little bit, you know what I'm saying? And it's 
we're gonna be able to catch some of that upper top still. We're not really we're not catching any of that. This is why we only have this back now for the quarter half. It's only for up top shots. Not it's not business shots either, but it's just for the up top look. And we're gonna see how these come out right here. So you guys can see in my viewfinder right here, looking how they're looking. So right now I need to move. My light is what I'm finding out. Or lower my light a little bit, lower my beauty dish that I was casting right upon her face. Let this light come back a little bit too. And now let's see how these look right here. There we go, yep. There we go, now look a little bit more up away. There we go, just like that. Don't move. Turn to the side a little bit, this way, there we go, just like that. Now lean forward again, how you lean, that looks like this. Oh, I like that look away, don't move. I'm gonna move the light to cast a little bit better onto her face. So we're also really just showing you guys how to use one light setup. This is one light setup, the two lights are just there. I could turn them off, to be honest, but they're there for you guys to be able to see what's really going on. This is really just the one light setup. I'm gonna show you guys two light setup later on if you guys wanna see more lights and how to incorporate those as well. I can show you guys those as well. But as of right now, we're using this one light setup, nice little beauty just setup. This can be for outside, this can be for inside the studio. <clears throat> now we're moving on to the fourth pose. All right, so now for this one, we're gonna have her put both hands in her hair, kind of playing with her hair a little bit, and then elbows up and out. Because when your elbows are down, they look very nice, they look sharp. So up and out, out, away from your face. Yep, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Away from your face, and they don't look as sharp. Because when it comes to photography, we like to see symmetry and we like to see curves. Symmetry and curves, we don't really like sharp angles, sharp edges, I mean. And then just like that. Up and out. Yeah. Yep. Yep. I need a little bit of dimension of me, so I need you to turn this way a little bit. So just like that, up and out, and I turn the twist up. Boom, just like that. I look right here. And I'll show you guys some of these pictures as well, um, how they come out. Yep, go ahead, freestyle with it. It's always good to have your artist, your model freestyle. Usually what I do is too, I'll play some music, but we're gonna get copyrighted. And you know, we don't wanna play copyright free music because that's gonna sound doo -doo -doo -doo, elevator music. Not playing with elevator music right now. Oh, don't move, I like that. I just need to move my lighting a little bit. So I'm moving the beauty dish once again, you guys. Each time that we move it is it's where we want the light to cast. If we want the light to cast onto her face, don't move. So with this beauty dish, the light is going to cast right here and down. All right. So as you guys can see, hold on, let me see. I'm going to move it for you guys a little bit. The beauty dish, you want the bottom of the beauty dish to be going to the bottom of her feet and the top to be on the top of her head. Either you can have it a little bit over so that we get cast a little bit on the background as well, or you can move it down a little bit more so that we all of it cast on her body. So what this is doing is it's eliminating all the shadows from up top. And then being that she has on a leather, leathery metallic, it's gonna reflect it as well. And I have my reflected down here at the bottom of my own beauty dish, just came off, but have this down here at the bottom too. So that whatever light spills or bounces off, will bounce back at her to lift up some of those, um, some of those, some of those shadows from the bottom. So this is what we call raccoon eyes. If you only have the shadow at the bottom and it has under her eyes, you're gonna have raccoon eyes. We don't want that. So this is how we eliminate raccoon eyes. Because I hate raccoon eyes. Like, <laughs> why are my eyes look like this? Yeah, because the only light is shining from the top. So let's hit it again. Let's see. Boom. Another one. Don't move. I'll go down to my ISO a little bit. If you have too much light shining, I can't really like. I didn't, I didn't have two cameras. I had one right there. It's looking at me too. And then one right here. If you have too much light shining under her forehead, you can either down the power of your speed light or... You can down your ISO. Majority of the time, downing your ISO will help out, but sometimes you have to go down your speed light. So right here, my speed light is pretty high. It's at 16, on um, one over 16. I'm gonna go ahead and go down to one over 32. End up probably a half a stop. Let's see how this looks now. <laughs> yeah, everybody, no one understands, man. Modeling's no joke. I was in the front of the camera when I was doing my photos, and that thing was taking on me. Boom. Let me see. Back. 
All right, you guys, now we're going to move on to the fifth. All right, you guys, for the fifth and final pose, what we have is the model sitting kind of sideways, either sideways or backwards. We're going to have them looking over the shoulder. The over the shoulder is always a really good one. It gives off a nice, soft feel. Um, it allows them to be able to have their hair on one side or hair to the back or hair on the other side. I kind of like the hair flowing on the right side. We're going to leave the hair on the right side. We're going to have them looking over the left shoulder. Over the left shoulder, just, I don't know, it gives off like a, a soft, yet sexy feel. So let's see how this looks. So do you want me to put my chin in or do you want to leave it out? We're going to do both. So first we'll do put your chin in. We're going to have her put her chin in, you guys. Like that. See how that looks. Boom. 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 Now put the chin up. I like that. Yep. See, it's always good to have your model freestyle. If the model's in freestyle, you'd have to, like, you know, obviously help. But being that you need model helps out a lot, too. And yeah, this is not our first time shooting. Also helps out a lot. Also helps out a lot. There we go. Yes, sir. Like, I like how this is getting different vibes. Thank you guys for watching, man. And that's our top five um, seated poses as far as using the stool and all that goes. Stay tuned for um, our next episodes. Um, let me know if you guys like seeing unique, and I'm pretty sure you guys do. Just leave a like down there. But if you guys want to see more um, content being made with unique, let me know. Follow her on Instagram at UUSMF. Um, subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram at taxi.png. You guys are in TAXI.png. And um, yeah, man, that was the top five seated poses um, when using a stool or a, or a prop box. And you guys like prop boxes as well. And um, yeah, let me know if you guys want to see a lot more. Subscribe, like, follow, comment, blah, blah, blah. We're out.